How it's called flop wrist or dead yeah. wrist press or yeah. What is it? Well, <laughs> it's uh, losing the hand. Losing sure. the hand. Yeah, but it's we can call it dead wrist flop wrist. Um, sometimes it happens intentionally. Most times it it happens unintentionally. It yeah. just happens because if if I, I want to hook you, you want to top roll me, and my wrist doesn't hold. Uh, and I know just uh, maybe few arm wrestlers who do it intentionally. Yep. Like uh, Jerry. Jerry and who Jim. else? I, I think uh, Todd Hutchings is not doing it intentionally. He's no, he's he, he's better. But if he loses his hand, he's not very no you know, difference. Yeah, he's like ah, it's fine. Yeah. We just we just uh, saw saw fight uh, Irakli and, Irakli and Todd, Todd Hutchings, and uh, we were talking about that uh, to beat flop wrist, dead wrist press, or or, or or beat someone who is fighting without a hand, you need some special strength because very often uh, top roller top rollers first first what they are thinking about is how to take opponent's hand and wrist. Yeah. But, uh, but if I give that to you, yeah, yeah. But if, if you pull against, uh, I, I would say regular arm wrestler, most often you take a hand. Yeah. You, yeah. you will you will get that arm till till the uh, pin pad. Yeah. If you pull against someone like uh, Todd Hutchings, Daniel Prokopchuk, uh, okay, Jerry Colorado is special. Michael Todd is as well. Frode. Frode. Yeah. yeah, many others who can fight great without a hand. And then you need you need to do some adjustments in in your in your style in in your in your, in your fight. How about what what you shouldn't do? What you shouldn't do? First of all, first of all, uh, you have to take that hand. But but right now we are not talking about how to take hand. We are talking no. about what to do if you are in a position yeah. that that you are already taking the hand. Many top rollers, mostly what they are doing, they are attacking. Just, just wrist, just yes. hand. Yeah. With with arm wrestlers who who are fighting great without a hand, very often to to win against them, you need to take not only wrist, you need to take as well rotation, rotator. The, attack the pronator. There are huge difference in a in a biomechanics in a strength if you are in a position here and here you still can fight yeah. and and I'm I'm mostly holding you on my brachio, brachialis brachialis. On my back pressure, yeah. And here, if I have your rotator, I can add my side. Pull I back. can add my back, yeah. lat muscle. Yeah. I, I can uh, do some transition to press. That's a big difference. So first of all, to beat uh, armsters who are fighting good without, and it's not only about techniques. You need definitely you need some uh, strength as well to do strength, it. Yeah. You need, but you need understanding. To do it on a, on a practice to prepare that you are able to do as well same move on a competition and, and against opponent. So focus not only top roll but as well get get an opponent's uh, rotation. Yeah. Very so often. I, I would say get get the center, take the center line because if if you're gonna if I can take this but it doesn't matter I want to I want to take you out of the center line. Just as, so uh, I can get in, because if I don't take you out of the center line and I can take you here, I get stretched out. So here would be it's, closer. It's center. Center is uh, is good if you can press through center, but yeah, you need yeah, the strength. Yeah. And uh, first of all, I would say you need to put your opponent in a maximally worst position as possible. You want to use that physics as advantage for you. You want to biceps. take wrist. You want to take both. You want to take wrist and pronator rotator. Yeah. So, so you put your opponent in a worse position and you are using your uh, physics or biomechanics you use in your advantage. Mm. You, you take here, you put here. Second, when, when, when you are here, again you, you say, you say uh, take the center. Many times it's impossible because who is, who is stronger here, yeah. he will, like, like again Todd Hutchings, he will yeah, push you. What you need to do to, to gain some uh, strength here? You need to separate his arm away from a body. Yeah. So right now, if you are here in this position, I want first of all open up a little bit this angle. Yeah. So I want to separate you away. And if I have done that, I'm in better position. I'm closer. Right now, I will try to go to side because if I will tr try to challenge you in in a center position, or I will try to challenge Todd Hutchings or, or Daniel Prokopchuk. 
who are who are who are incredible okay, in that okay, moment. Uh, I think we met, you're talking when the match has started. I'm thinking when match hasn't started. So if you allow someone like uh, let's say Frode to get his shoulder in first, you can because mostly when you attack someone who presses, you get the center here and then you do all those things because you want to take mm -hmm. the line out. If you let this sink in and then you're going to do all those things, it doesn't matter because the shoulder is already protected and it's way harder to do it. Usually like your, your match versus Jeff you mm -hmm. did the same thing, you attack here and then you start working there. Yeah. Because you want to bring that shoulder Of away. course, but it's possible as well from yeah, yeah, yeah. a losing position. Take yeah. that wrist, get, the, get, get your shoulder closer, yeah. get the center position, take the rotator. Yeah. It's, it's still possible uh, to work from a losing but position. But it's better to work from start. Yeah, That's but what I was saying, just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and even, even here in this yeah. position, if you, if you try to just rise up, what will be stronger? Your press or my, if I'm holding just on my back pressure most, right now, most, most, most often if you're yeah. holding just on your, and you are just... Yeah, you're gonna get stretched out. Even, yeah. They saw even uh, Zurab and, and John. Yeah. When, when John was holding here and Zurab, it, it was so incredible press here and yeah. then John was John, trying to John, hold. John took the, went up and he just went yeah. down. What, when, what John was doing when he won, what he was doing, he was taking not only hand, but yeah. he, he was actually taking yeah. rotator. Yeah. So, difference, Zurab was pressing like this, or Zurab get in a position when John took his rotator and, and yeah. he had to push against its physics. Yeah. Difference. Yeah. He's pushing against his, uh, his uh, wrist here. Yeah. It's a much shorter leverage. Plus, you, you have to understand when someone, like, when, I, when I'm going for the hook, this is where the connection is. When I drop my wrist, connection is lower. Mm -hmm. And my, like, uh, the center of gravity is lower. So it's, for you, it's, it's easy to take this, but it's way harder if I yeah. jam it in really good because I'm way lower. So you kind of, you have to <clears throat> get way out of it. That's why, that's why very often we see that uh, uh, against Jerry, against uh, same Zurab, against maybe, there are wrestlers who are actually going inside with yeah. them. Why? Yeah, because it's easier. It's rotation. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, otherwise, they have to hold them on, on, uh, just on a brachialis or yeah. brachialis, and, and uh, then they are going against them, and they are getting on their biceps. And sometimes it's more effective. Uh, they just... Uh, other, otherwise, it's impossible. But uh, you, you said about this losing position. If you are already here, again, if you're just trying to lift up, most likely, you, you have to be very strong to do it. Yeah. What, what you want to do it, you want to take as well, maybe if possible, a little bit of rotation, but most, most uh, big, biggest uh, task of you will be to separate, separate a little bit here, yeah. pull away or, or, or together curl and pull and separate away that arm from, uh, from body. Yeah. So we are, we are, we are fi fighting here and pressing. If you will try press against me, yeah. most likely not easy, no. but if you will pull a little bit, Pull up, open, open up my open angle, up the angle, and then you are trying yeah. to go to side. Yeah. You will be every every millimeter, every centimeter you're getting closer here. Yeah. You you are uh, getting more advantage in strength you can gain to side every millimeter. Yeah. I remember the match uh, that was uh, with someone who has great top roll, uh, uh, Prokopchuk and Tarasides. Remember that? Mm -hmm. So uh, pretty much similar situation. And again, Tarasite is taught that he can hold him and kind of wait him out. So you have to understand this. When someone gets the shoulder behind, sits in position, you're not wasting that much energy as someone who's holding on the muscle. Yep. You know, this is more all the joint, all the system. You kind of shoulder behind, everything jammed in. You're still, you're still draining. It's still tasking. But this is way harder, mm -hmm. you know. It's, uh, it's, it would be way easier for you to uh, sit in push-up position than pull-up position. Yep, exactly, yeah. exactly. So to fight against uh, good flop wrist pressure, you need a strong hand and you need a good side pressure, side pressure yeah. connection as well together with your back pressure. And definitely you have to work more with your uh, rowing strength. Strap or no strap? Against? Yeah. If, if you're pulling with someone like that, Strap or no strap? Most often you will get in the strap because what, what's, what's happening is uh, that here and yeah. what we see is uh, yeah. 
Because they have so much side pressure, they yeah. don't care. Usually the, the, the arm strength are much bigger than the hand, bigger than the hand and wrist strength. And even if you catch them, like like uh, Sasha sometimes, he's like, okay, doesn't matter, he will just... And as soon as he yeah. gets in the strap... So, so you, 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 will just, uh, you will have to pull in the strap most likely yeah. against... Uh, some tips in the strap? Like difference be between... Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe something you can use more or something you... You have to, because in a strap, again, we're tied together. Let's, let's put on mm -hmm. the strap. So in a strap, we're going to be tied together and I'm going to be a flop wrist presser. So now I don't have to think about my, my hand and connection. So for, for me, it kind of, it doesn't matter where, where I'm holding you, you know? So we start and I can just lean in. Same, same position. Uh, not, not, not much gonna happen here. Uh, yeah, I don't need to care too much about my uh, finger finger strength or, 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 or how, how strong I hold. But still, I, I, I would love to get my wrist uh, flexor active. And uh, here, from this position, as uh, you, you in, in the straps very often with flop wrist, one, one thing you could try to do is you could try to climb up. In, in, in this position to get to get your opponent in some position maybe even lower even lower yeah, yeah. If, if you if you are holding here you can climb up climb mm. up you can you can think about that yeah. as well with, with what will not happen in a, without a strap yeah. probably that's main difference I see in a strap otherwise the things to do is same yeah you mm -hmm. go for it I, I I could try to take your rotator you have as well use. with wrist yeah. I, I I try to not only lift up because it's it's not easy to lift up but, but I try to Separate. I, I'm doing it together with back pressure, yeah. with, with pulling. Yeah. I'm separating you away from. Yeah. And right now, here, if I try to press, it's not going. Side, it's not going. But what I can do, I can open up your biceps a little bit. Even more, even more, and then work on that. To get that position. Yeah. So I can climb up, I can take more your wrist, I can take more your rotator, I can open up your angle more wild, yeah. more wi wide open. Yeah. So you are not so close, you're not so tight, and, and you are you need to, uh, you, you, can, you can try and with exercise, you can try with exercise, put, take some cable from side and push how much you can push when you are here and uh, take the same uh, cable from side and try how much you can push to side when you're here and yeah, probably it will be yeah. s three times uh, less than, uh, yeah. than when you are in this tight close position, that's the difference. Another thing would be use the pad. You, you have to kind of, you, you have to, if, if you're in this position, you, Jans is moving back and forth. He's climbing up, then pulling me back, then climbing up, you pulling get, me yeah. back. Yeah. You're you, gaining you, that you, position. You, can, you cannot do all that just sitting here. It's, it's not going to work. You, you have to be really strong for that. But you have to climb up, pull back again, you know, and again and again. To gain, to gain that position. Yeah. To gain that position. But first of all, of course, you have to st stop very stop often. Stop those. Boom! Yeah, it just yeah. goes through. Yeah, yeah. We have a few of those two here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, 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 and the, diff, uh, the mistake is very often people, if, if you know that your opponent will just go for press, they are just focusing how to take that hand. But, yeah. but you need to think as, as well about arm. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's uh, te technique or style or everything. It's, it's easy to say, uh, do that or do this or yeah. you need some strength behind it, definitely. You, you need strength, you need experience and you know, yeah. need to work on it. All seat. that coordination, but definitely yeah. it's strength. Every, every technique is it's, uh, based on strength. Yeah. We can say you curl your wrist in, uh, pull it mm. closer, go to so, side. If you don't have that ability or strength to do it, I think, again, and if, if you have never experienced something like that, it's a big thing to take on because, you know, hook and flop wrist press or s someone with a lot of side pressure who doesn't care about his wrist is really different opponents. Like mm -hmm. everything, it feels completely different. They will attack different areas. So mm -hmm. if you have a chance to work with some, someone like that, you will get better understanding. But those would be the basic things to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, that, that's, that's why it's great if you have good team, good sparring partners, different, different arms, styles. different styles. One is, one is pressing, one is uh, curling, pulling yeah. or hooking and, and, yeah. and, and it's then impossible. You can, then you can uh, adjust to better different opponents. Mm -hmm. for sure. you, are, you are as strong as your team. Yeah, uh, that's from us. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. check Patreon training system, link is in the description. Stay strong. Yeah. And beat Todd Hutchings. Beat Todd Hutchings. <laughs>